Well, uh, the first video was not completed. There were some issues. Well, I did complete the video, uh, but there were some issues, so I had to I cut that down. And this is the video in the continuation. So we are saying this is the part two for Terraform authentication uh, to Azure. So welcome to the part two and we stopped on the same screen i did nothing i just created the day three folder and let's delete this file i was just trying to create it so we have nothing in the day three folder let's go to the visual studio i'm sorry uh i opened a new one no uh, let's go to the visual studio i have two sessions running now <laughs> let me close one all right, uh, this is where we are in T3. Let's create one TF file. We will call it main.tf. All right, now here we need to put the code for the authentication. And we are authenticating here with the help of service principle. We already talked about AZ login in the past video. So let's go ahead and quickly and open the authentication uh, code. This is on the terraform.io I just typed uh, terraform authentication Azure via service principle and you would have your link right there right there so I'll, I'll share this link in the description as well you go down and you'll find this provider azure rm and this information we need subscription id client id client secret and tenant id so let's copy this code and put it here this is our code we don't need this so the provider is azure rm and we need this information that we can easily grab from the azure portal and the secret and id you can uh grab once you create the service principle all right i have already done that so let me quickly copy that and paste it here this is my information and i'm going to create uh let's grab the code again from the terraform.io they have all the codes you need need not to write which has already been written so we have all the modules on the terraform.io we have uh, registries that you can refer to or you can deploy a code with the help of that so uh, here we have an example of Azure resource group with the tags all right so you can copy it it is all there in the terraform.io and you can get all the codes from the github as well so I'm copying this code from here and I'm putting down here now I'm going to deploy this then the test resource group one would be created under tag this but let's let me try to create it from the scratch for you guys just to understand let's type resource here and it will pick everything because i have the extensions installed on the code so we just need to type the resource type and name is something that is for the internal reference so resource type is here it is azure rm resource group because we are creating a resource group so you can copy it from here and if you are you know, slowly and steadily once you're used to it you will be aware of, about all the resource group it is like virtual underscore network you know subnets and all or you can get it from the terraform.io so it's azure rm resource group let me put, give it a name let me give something like rg uh, you would understand later like why we need to give the name when we build some more code but here we are only deploying a resource group just to understand our authentication process so what resource group need uh, a name of course so let's put the name we are giving it uh, terraform rg1 and we need the location where you want to deploy this resource group so where let's put it east us all right so this is a simple code and we can deploy it let's open the terminal new terminal 
cool now we need to initiate the terraform so that it could download all the plugins related to the provider azure rm uh, that's what i'm doing right now i have i ran the command terraform in it you can also use powershell to plan or apply the terraform so it has been successfully initialized now let's go ahead and run terraform plan it will give us the information regarding what we are deploying what we are changing if we are deleting any resource that's what it will do so uh, let's wait and it rain it says plan one to add zero to change zero to destroy so we can do terraform apply now it is deploying the resource on the Azure portal it is asking for the approval you can also uh, put command like auto approve so that it will not ask for the approval now it has been deployed we can go ahead and confirm on the Azure portal so what was the name it was terraform rg1 which location is the US location let me minimize this go to the Azure portal let me go to my resource groups here it is let me refresh it and let's see terraform rg1 east us it is right there now suppose you have a huge chunk of code you're deploying uh, 50 or 60 resources then for your testing once you're done the simple command terraform destroy would help you to remove all the codes that you have deployed and everything is stored on the terraform tf state so that's what it that's why it knows what needs to be deleted whatever is there so asking for the value because it needs to delete again the approval and it is going to erase all the resources that we have deployed uh, let's wait still destroying and it would say completed soon uh, meanwhile I just wanted to say before you watch this video please go watch the first one these two videos are in continuation it was something wrong with the first one so I have to create the other half of the video again and uh, that's how you uh, uh, wh why we could deploy the resource group because we could authenticate our terraform uh, from here with the help of this this is the information from the service principle and uh, yeah that's that's all about it uh, I hope uh, it would be helpful and a learning experience for you it is destroyed now uh, I was just waiting for this to come and let's wait for the other videos thank you keep watching